Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we're going to talk about a pretty powerful subject, rejection. And more importantly, the fact that objections, what you face day to day in your job, for the most part is not rejection. I know that it's tough for us. I know our jobs are tough. I know it's difficult to put ourselves out there because we don't want to face rejection. And I'm going to explain why rejection is such a powerful, powerful human emotion. There's a reason why you feel the way that you do. But I want to first establish the fact that when you're work with, working with somebody and they object, it's not a rejection. This is what an objection sounds like. Hey, it's not for me. It's not going to happen. I don't, like the, I don't like the size of that bedroom. I don't like this property. You know, this just isn't a fit for me. I found, you know, a different property that uh, we're going to sign a lease at. Those are all objections, not rejections. This is what rejection sounds like. You stink. Don't ever call me again. I can't believe you said that. You're a moron. Would you quit bothering me? That's what rejection sounds like. Unfortunately, it's difficult for us to understand emotionally the difference between a business objection and a personal rejection. And it's so vital, it's so critical for you to try and do your best to compartmentalize the two and say, hey, just because this offer that I'm making somebody here in business, just because my apartment is not the right fit for them right now, just because they don't see the value right now, or just because they object to what I'm showing them, it's not a personal rejection. But that's so much easier to say than it is to do because you're fighting 40 million years of evolution. Here's how it worked. Back in the day when we were all cave people, we literally lived in caves and we literally had to live as a community. We had to hunt together. We had to make tools together. We had to grab, uh, gather our food together. We had to cook together. We needed to be in a group for survival. It's very different than it is today where you can grab your phone and basically order up transportation, food, shelter, companionship, whatever you want from your device. Back in the day, you were in the cave and you lived with the group. Well, if your behavior, if you started to do something that got on everybody's nerves, well, they started to reject you. They started to grunt and growl and make noises because you were doing things that they didn't like. Well, if you kept that behavior up, you had to rapidly stop that behavior and get along with the group. Or if you kept it up, guess what they did? They simply shunned you. They kicked you out of the cave, which was essentially a death sentence 40 million years ago. You're out there with no clothes, no shelter, no way to make fire, no way to hunt, no way to gather. You had a very, very limited time to live. So for 40 million years of evolution, we developed this sense of, ah, rejection. If people are rejecting me, I better stop. And it actually hurts us more than somebody physically hurting us when they reject us. Why? Because the people that didn't feel that pain of rejection, well, they were the idiots in the cave that got kicked out and they died and they didn't reproduce. That's why rejection feels so difficult for us because there's 40 million years of evolution. There's 40 million years of that pain when the group doesn't like us. But I need you to fight that 40 million years of evolution. I know it's easier said than done, but realize this. When your prospect objects, when they say the bedroom's too small or your prices are too high, or I'm never going to sign a lease here because all you have are units available on the ground floor and I want to live with it. It's not a personal rejection to you. And I've got some good news for you. 98% of the time in our industry, in the apartment industry, when somebody's objecting, not only is it not a personal attack on you and not a personal rejection to you, it's not even an objection. It's what? If you've been through Leasing University, you know this. It's a complaint. 
They're merely complaining the price is too high, or I don't like the size of that closet, or I can't believe you don't have one of the top floor apartments available. It's just a complaint. And I need you to not take it personally and not feel that emotional pain and stay a professional. And I know it's easier said than done. Listen, if you want to learn more about this, we can help you. We have whole courses on dealing with objections and dealing with complaints that are going to help you fight that urge, that 40 million years of evolution and help you work through this process by staying cool, calm, and collected, and getting the lease. I encourage you, check us out over at Leasing University. We can help you. If you have any questions that I can answer you personally, please comment below or call my office. They know where to find me anytime, all times of the day. Call Leasing University at 888-735-7451. I wanna leave you with this. I'm grateful for you. The industry is grateful for you. You are the soldiers on the front line putting your emotions out there every day. And I know it's not easy to put yourself out there. And I know it hurts when somebody has an objection, but don't take it personal. Don't take it as a rejection. If you want, if you want to call me and just say, hey, I had a bad day, I'm here to listen. I hope you subscribe to this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. It's all about helping you be great. It's all about helping you get more leases. And that's what I want you to do until the next video. I want you to be great and I want you to get those leases. It's not rejection if it's an objection. And most of the time, it's not even an objection. It's what? It's merely a complaint. I'll see you on the next video.